the most expensive cognac in this Armenian store. Don't drop it. <laughs> dollars. 40 years old cognac. Welcome back to Armenia and this amazing golden building behind me is actually one of the most popular supermarkets in the country and we're right in the center of Yerevan right now and we're going to go and check out the supermarket Yerevan city and see what the Armenians buy what they eat on a daily basis it's going to be exciting it's going to be interesting let's go and check it out Vache. Hello, what hey, up? Hey, hey, What's up brother? Okay yeah. this is Vache, Armenian, also my video editor so if the video is great, you can get some credit for that. If it's bad, it's kind of your fault, bro. I'm sorry. Yerevan City Supermarket, always low prices. Let's see if it is always low prices. Just to put it in perspective, 1,000 drams. Let's display that for the audience. 1,000 drams, Armenian drams, is worth about $2.60. So when you see the prices, you're going to see just roughly what you pay. This is very cool because check it out. Before you even get in there, you've got this section, this little market. This is like Armenia through and through. Check it out. You've got all the traditional Armenian things, dried fruits, some more fruits over there. The sajuk. Sajuk is, they call it the Armenian Snickers. This is amazing, right? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is a typical Armenian gift, what you'd give to somebody. The nuts. Basically dry fruits. Dried fruits. They love their dried fruits in, in Armenia. And the sajuk is amazing. It's like this jelly on a string with nuts in the middle. It's like the traditional sweet treat for this part of the world. If I had to describe Armenia in a picture of food, this section here is probably what I would picture in my mind. I've just spotted something. Check it out over here. We've got a, a machine which actually gives you fresh apple juice. 700 drams. Actually, have you got my thousand? Have you got my thousand drams, bro? Come on. my salary? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> here we go. We're going to put a thousand drams in. <laughs> it spat it back out. It rejected my cash. What the hell? Why? Well, let an Armenian do sure. it. The magic touch. Let's see. Let's see if it accepts your thousand rams. What? Why did it not accept it for me? Is it racist towards British people? <laughs> it only accepts Armenians. Armenians. Press the button. Press the button. Maybe that that, one. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please wait. What's it going to say? Okay, so it's grinding up the apple juice in there and it's squeezing it into this cup. Inside, we have a freshly squeezed apple juice. Let's try it. Ah, oh, perfect. Very nice, bro. As you first walk in, you've got the fruit and veg section. You've got fruit from all over the world. We've got bananas from Ecuador. Normal bananas, mini bananas, and red bananas. Pomelo from China. Pineapple from Costa Rica. Yeah. Mini pineapple from California. Let's compare Californian versus the Costa Rican. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Personally, I'm gonna go for this. Coconuts from Armenia. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Maybe. Limes from Tahiti. Pears from South Africa. Apples from Italia. Bacha, you've been stopped. This is the best. Stopped in your this tracks. Is, the best. is it? Yeah. yeah. The Ararat okay. cognac. Armenia is famous for its cognac. Bacha has tasted every single one of them. <laughs> this is amazing. This is Ararat, the mountain. Yeah. Ararat cognac. And this is. This with cherry flavor. Coffee flavor. Coffee flavor. Oh my god, cherry flavor. Epicut flavor. That's amazing. Armenia is famous for its wine, by the way. Fact, they often claim that the first oldest winery in the world came from Armenia. We've got Takar. Takar is another famous Armenian wine. I do like a bit of Takar every now and again. Karas, yeah, another good one. I've been to a, a winery in Karas. It was uh, very good. More wines. Bro, the alcohol section is so large. Look at this, pomegranate wine. Pomegranate is the national fruit of Armenia. Here's the thing, apricot is the national fruit of Armenia, not pomegranate. Well, it's up for debate. So I said pomegranate is the national fruit of Armenia. Bache, the Armenian, says it's apricot. So if you're Armenian, have a vote below in the comments. Yeah. Type below, apricot or pomegranate, let me know. This is what I don't understand. Look at this. You've got some lays with Arabic text, I think. Yes, Arabic text. And then you've got more lays with Russian text. Obviously, there's a big, there's lots of Russian products that you'll find. But yeah, strange. Doritos with Arabic text. Weird. In an Armenian store. Where are they getting all this, importing all of these things from? Partly from Russia, partly from the Arab world. Spicy chorizo flavor. Through there is the bakery where the lavash is prepared. Look at that. Beautiful. Eggs. Let's have a look at the prices of eggs. 30 eggs, 1,740 grams. 
So pretty good value. Cheese, 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 and more cheese. Welcome to the cheese section of this establishment. Some of my favorite cheeses I've ever had are from Armenia. They're like these stringy cheeses and uh, they are so tasty. And look, they've even got some Italian. Parmigiano, Reggiano. All this cheese is top notch. Oh. It's a sword. Yo, bro, that's actually pretty sharp. But I should tell you, these are not weapons. These are simply, I don't know, spears for the kebab. Keep one in, inside of your house in case a burglar breaks in. Good, versatile weapon. This is especially for horovats. Horovats, the Armenian barbecue. Pre-marinated yeah. meats. Armenian horovats with meat, with vegetables on the horovats sword. If you want to be romantic, get you and your girlfriend some meat in the shape of a heart. We showed you first the sweet sajuk, but also this is called sajuk as well. Meat sajuk. Kind of like a strange salami, that's all I can say. You can buy it like this and then spice it or pre-slice. Now, Armenia was obviously a part of the Soviet Union. So there's obviously like the Russian element that comes into play, the Soviet element. Of course, they love their uh, water in that part of the world. All different types of water. Kremlin water, amazing. Uh, what else? Raika water, Romanov water. Bache, this is yeah. fresh spring water, yes? It's very fresh. Yeah, for sure. Different types of fresh water. Water, like spring water, mm -hmm. mineral water. There's a red one as well, a red Finlandia, all the way from Finland. Ah, I reckon recognize this. Wait, Smirnoff? I don't think this is water. Sorry, I got confused. The Armenians and Russians just drink it like water. Look at the amount of brands there are. This is crazy. If I walk into this shop and I want vodka, I am spoiled for choice. Bache, beer please. You can just fill up a fresh bottle of beer from a beer tap in the supermarket. Target beer, Gimri beer, Dilijan beer, Kili Kilikia. Never seen that before. Okay, this is amazing. Beer from the tap in the supermarket. Bro, we, we've got to edit the video. We can't drink tonight. Maybe they have another tap for vodka, vodka tap. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, bro, 912,000 drams, which is about what, $2,000? Oh my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> Don't drop it. Be careful. Be careful. One million dram <laughs> cognac right there. Let's put it back on the shelf. $2,000. Reese's. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like I'm bringing you to a, a, a supermarket in the UK yeah. or something, Vache. Yeah. Look, we got all the, the usual suspects. Snickers, M&M's, Skittles, Aero. Ah, you see, this is something I remember from my travels. Georgian lemonade, okay? And it's made not from lemons, but from lots of things such as, I don't know, that leaf there. I'm not sure what it is. When you go to Georgia, which is directly next store to Armenia. You're going to go to a cafe. You're going to ask for lemonade. You're going to be shocked when you receive this green weird drink. They just class any fizzy drink as lemonade. Whereas people who understand the word lemon class only a drink that tastes of lemon as lemonade. But as you can see, pear lemonade, another pear lemonade, whatever that is, lemonade. But once and for all, it is not lemonade if there's not lemons inside. End of. We've looked at all the alcohol. We cannot bypass though the water of Armenia. Armenia does have very good water and in particularly the Jermuk water from the city of Jermuk and it's a sparkling water. One of the best sparkling waters I've tasted in my opinion and they claim that it heals all ailments. If you're ill, go there, drink the water and you'll be magically healed of all your health problems. I tried it, didn't taste very nice, but maybe you gotta go through the pain to get the gain. But you get things from all over the ex-Soviet Union in these places. For instance, Borjami water. Borjami water is from Georgia. I have to tell you though, it's a bit weird. I don't like it. I much prefer the Armenian version, Jermuk or Bujni, another Armenian sparkling water. Borjami, no, no. Another favorite drink is the uh, compote. Yeah, it's like a juice with real fruit pieces inside. As you can see, Ararat compote. But I do believe it's more of a Russian thing. Matsun yogurt, the famous Armenian yogurt. You see the Armenian writing on this side, the Russian writing on this side. Armenian Greek yogurt. Yeah, uh, natural yogurt, no flavoring. Every Armenian is telling you how healthy it is. I will tell you one thing though. If you go on holiday, you live in Armenia. Don't ever forget to check the fridge before you go. I did that. I left Matsun yogurt in the fridge. And when I got home, it had gone moldy. And I tell you what, the house absolutely stunk for weeks. Couldn't get rid of it. The fridge was destroyed. Natural yogurt is not to be messed with. Ice cream section, yeah. You've got the usual suspects, the Oreo, the Snickers, 
Tesla's. Got this Russian brand here, which is very popular. I see this a lot. My favorite one of all. Oh my goodness, look at this, check it out. Inside of here, you've got the Soviet Union ice cream made by Grand Candy, an Armenian company. Soviet Union ice cream, can you believe it? Anyway, what's interesting is they have the Heinz ketchup with Russian, the Heinz ketchup with English, and then they have the alternatives like this, Topson Heinz. Why do they have one in English and one in Russian? I don't get it. Oh my God. Look at these cakes. These are amazing. Wow. Freshly made cakes. <laughs> Can we take one? I think we should, I think we should, bro. <laughs> Go. Yo, we need to edit this video. We need some extra energy. For sure. Look at that. That looks amazing. Yo, these cakes are out of this world. Like in England, where I'm from, you don't get these kind of cakes, man. I'm meant to be staying healthy, but look, the cake section has floored me. Gotta get out. Let's go to the drinks. I, I do think I have to try this though. Hi Cola. Hi is short for Hayastan, which is Armenia in Armenian. It's their version of Coca-Cola. Another Hi Cola. This is like their version of Fanta. We should do a taste test. What's gonna be nicer? Coca-Cola or Hi? High cola, Fanta, or high high cola orange. I wonder which will be the best. Coca Cola, Fanta, yeah, the original two. Let's get the rivals. High cola, put them in. Taste test comparison. So we've been around pretty much the whole store. I've got to tell you the truth. There's not too many shocking, unbelievable things that I've found. Most of it is pretty normal stuff. Some products that I haven't seen before, but anyway, we are gonna try the Armenian beer, the Armenian Fanta, the Armenian Cola, and the Armenian Sajuk. Let's pay for it at the checkout and let's give it all a try. Trip done, one small bag, final price, 4,100 grams. Now that is cheap, I'm telling you, for Armenia. There's more expensive shops. Have a look at that, always low prices, I will confirm. 912,000 grams. Always low prices is correct. <laughs> For Yerevan City. Coca-Cola against high cola blind taste test. I'm gonna look away. You're gonna mix them around and I've got to guess which one is which. Go ahead. I'm looking away. <laughs> So first thing I notice is one of them had bubbles at the top, the other one does not. So it makes me think that this one is more high quality than this one. Let's try. <laughs> Wait, one more. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna say Coca-Cola, high cola. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, high cola, but on this occasion, the Coca-Cola wins. I hate to say it, but... Good try. The Fanta wine taste test. Let's start with this. Okay. okay. That was pretty good. Next one. So. <laughs> now that's clear, clear as day. That is the high, high color orange because that yeah. tastes less sparkly and more orangey than this. Yeah, you're right. That was very easy. I think Fanta wins that one. Is it time, Vachi? Yes. I think it's time. All right, do the honors, mate. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh! So that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. More Armenia videos to come, so make sure you subscribe for more. With that being said, cheers, Vachi. Cheers. See you on the next video.